I felt inspired to fill, make a quick update video about what I've been up to and what I've been thinking about lately and there are a couple of things that are happening. Well, first thing is, uh, we are at our new place in Berlin. This is the place we're gonna live out for the next just over one month. Um, we actually have a roommate right now for about 10 more days and then we have this place for a month to ourselves. And then we're gonna use this month to find the place where we're eventually gonna stay in Berlin. Um, and both Anastasia and I are currently feeling like we're gonna be staying in Berlin for about six months. But you know, things, things constantly change. So it might be shorter or longer, depending on how we feel. And correlating with this move to Berlin and changing environment and changing everything up after Bali, five months in Bali, um, I have been thinking a lot about things and my life and shifting things around and I haven't really been updating a lot of the the process of that um, because vlogging less was one of the decisions that I made in that process. Um, basically I spent a lot of time in that process that I'm talking about started at the end of my Bali stay um, all throughout staying in Belarus and still going on trying to figure out what are the things that I'm doing that are externally motivated and what are the things that I'm doing that are internally motivated. Um, externally motivated meaning everything that I'm doing for other people, that I'm doing to impress people, that I'm doing be because everyone is doing it, because uh, things that I'm doing because I feel like I should be doing them or because society tells you that you need to be doing these things and then, and these things usually feel like work. And then internally motivated is everything that you do for your own sake, like that you do because you really want to do them. The things that you do for their own sake. And these things usually feel like play. And in that process, um, I've really restructured my day a lot. And I guess the biggest kind of result of that is how much time I'm spending on working. And I realized that I got a lot of self-worth out of the amount of hours that I was working. Um, when I was in Bali, especially in the first two months and before Bali, New York and all of that, I felt like I needed to work 10, 12, 14 hours a day. And I felt like I was, and I got a lot of kind of external, um, how do you say it? I got a lot of pleasure out of saying how much I worked. And um, obviously building Project 33 and being the CEO of a company was a big thing that played a role there. And I realized that this idea of being a CEO or having a startup or doing business, being an entrepreneur, the reason why I was so interested in that is to a big part and not solely, but to a big part motivated that by the fact that it's currently cool to be an entrepreneur, you know, in the era of, you know, the Gary Vaynerchuks and all of these other people, um, everyone wants to have company and be a CEO and, um, every one of my friends does it. And, and that's, to big reason why I was doing it, I realized. And so one of the biggest shifts that I did was actually um, recalibrating how much time I'm spending on working on Project 33. There were some things happening with Project 33. For example, I broke up with my co-founder who I started um, it with in August 2018 while still being in New York. So, that for me was a wake up call to really ask, am I doing what I want to be doing? Is this exciting to me? Is there some bigger reason why I'm doing it? And to a big part, the answer was no. And so Project 33 is actually doing better than ever, ever. Um, just yesterday, I closed another client for 2K Retainer um, and I'm spending the least amount of time on it ever. On average, I'm probably working on it an hour a day. And um, to me right now, I guess the shift is from Project 33 being my, my full-time hustle and my 
my everything to moving it into a side project that I'm doing to, you know, generate revenue because I need to make money because I need to pay for, you know, a place and for food and for all of these things that you need in real life. Um, but at the same time, like ramping down the hours there, being more efficient, um, and I realized not working made me way more efficient because I could actually make decisions and realize what I needed to do versus what I felt like I should be doing. Um, and there's actually a great thing that I read about yesterday um, from Marcus Aurelius, um, who was a Roman Empire emperor, um, to focus only on the essential things. And it's so hard to focus on the essential things because we have all of these ideas in our head of the things that we feel like we should be doing or things that are nice to have or that sound amazing, but really to do and only do what is truly essential and what you need to do, you suddenly end up with a pretty short to-do list. And so I optimize that. I'm spending way less time on project 33 um, moving that to a side project, I realized I want to spend way more time learning and building up myself and exploring other things because I got down this kind of entrepreneur route um, by accident and I feel like personally there are just so many more things that I want to try out. One, because I'm curious. Two, because I really believe I have the potential to do something great in many things, not just building a business, maybe not building a business. Maybe I'm just not a good entrepreneur. Um, I'm definitely enjoying what I'm currently doing with project 33 and with other kind of endeavors that I'm trying out. Um, but I don't think I'm solely that. And I don't think anyone is solely anything. You know, you are multiple things always at the same time. And so what that means is that I want to have a free schedule, an empty schedule and an empty mind. Meaning that in New York, I was very intrigued by this idea of having a cramped calendar and schedule to the point where I was so proud of it, having this full and cramped calendar that I would post about it on Instagram to humble brag it, to not even to humble brag it, to brag about it, which is no point, which makes no sense. Um, so for me, some, some really good metrics that I'm trying to look for right now is to have an, a blank calendar, an empty calendar, a white calendar space, nothing on there. And really the only things that are on there are essentials, are must do's, um, you know, some client calls, onboarding calls, really only things that need to happen. Everything else is empty. Um, and I want an empty mind, which means making less decisions and having less things in my life that don't matter. Um, one thing that definitely helped is meditation. And actually I feel like for the first time ever, I really feel like I'm grasping the benefit of meditation. Meditation is another one of these things where I realized I was doing it and I wanted to do it and I put it in my calendar because I felt like it's one of these things that you have to do, that you should do, that I should do because it's what people tell you what other successful people are doing, you know? And I was just, I never really fully grasped it. And now I think I'm slowly getting to the point where I want to meditate and I'm excited about meditating and I'm starting to see the benefits. And um, so that's a big part on that. Um, and one other thing that I did was really spend time. I'm, I'm fascinated by the idea of intentionality lately. I think there are really no right or wrong things to do in your life with your life. But what I'm, I guess, starting to care more and more about is doing things with full intention and really being clear and sure about why I'm doing it and why I want to be doing them. And, um, you know, there are so many things that we accept as being normal and 
things that you that everyone is doing them and that's why we're doing them and once you start to break down things and really questioning them you realize how much time you're spending on things that don't matter time on things that don't really make any sense um, things that don't make you happy that don't fulfill you that don't move the things forward that you want to move forward you know your relationship and your work um, like I thought about the example of brushing your teeth, right? Like we all brush our teeth. Um, you could ask yourself why. And most people never ask why they brush their teeth and if they should be doing it. If you start thinking about it, probably, at least for me, I can speak of me personally, I decided that I want to keep brushing my teeth because one, the time investment is very low, two minutes per day, or no, four minutes. Four minutes per day, if you're doing it twice a day. Um, but the benefit is pretty high, right? One, I won't lose my teeth, which means I'm saving either a lot of money or a lot of pain. And I'll probably have better relationships with people because my breath won't stink and I'll have better relationship with my girlfriend, with my friends and with my family. So it's a pretty good investment. On the other hand, making my hair, and I made a post about that um, a couple of days or weeks ago on Instagram, you know, making my hair and I stopped that a long while ago, like spending 20 minutes on that every single day for what reason? So I look better to other people? It did, doesn't make any sense to me anymore and that's why I stopped doing that. So questioning everything and really trying to get to a point where you do things with intention. And so I actually made a list of things that I want to be doing, that I want to have in my life. Um, one big thing for me is right now, figure out how to become financially independent and financially responsible. And what that means to me is getting to a point where I'm either making reliably $10,000 per month or I have accumulated savings of $10 million or more. Um, so that's financially independent. And then financially responsible means taking care of taxes, insurances, savings, and all of these things. Um, that we kind of associate with being an adult, having them figured out and taken care of. Um, that's a big thing that I'm spending time on, figuring out. And I don't know how I'm gonna do it. You know, it sounds kind of menacing to figure out how to make $10 million, but I don't know, I think it's possible and I think um, it's a worthwhile time investment to figure out how to do it. Second one is get a Kindle and download a bunch of books and read daily or as often as I can. One thing that I started to do is read a lot more daily. I was probably reading one or two hours every single day on, you know, books and, and articles and um, really trying to get to a point. No, and yeah, I, I realized that I'm getting a lot of kind of fulfillment out of that and personal growth. Like, you know, reading is learning. So I want to spend time on that. Um, one other thing that I'm currently doing, and I don't think I shared it, is actually um, a side project that I started a couple of weeks ago, is turning the book Egos the Enemy into an Instagram account um, and splitting the book down into bite-sized quotes and um, posting them on, on Instagram. One, because I wanted it for me, and I think it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's for me, mostly so i get a reminder to keep my ego in check and i kind of want to build that out for more books that i read like take valuable books that i read and turn them into instagram content and publish them to you know hopefully spread some knowledge to people um another project that i'm spending a lot of time on right now is um building up reminders to myself so i believe what do I believe? I believe that you can choose who you want to be and you can choose who you want to be, but it's work. And so, you know, things like being honest and things like being responsible and things like being courageous and things like taking risks and all these virtues that we kind of put on a high pedestal in society almost no one actually sticks to them. Like no one of us actually always tells the truth. No one.
Like it all sounds amazing, tell the truth and don't lie. And we all like, yeah, I, sub I subscribe to that idea. Like I like the idea of not lying. But we all fucking lie every single day, dozens of times. And sometimes it's a big lie and sometimes it's a small lie and sometimes it's a white lie and sometimes it's a well-intended lie and sometimes it's a, it's a badly intended lie. But we all lie every single day. And so I want to get to a point where I'm lying less and less and I don't say things that I know to be not true and I'm trying to and I'm getting to a point where I'm more comfortable always saying how I really think and what I really feel like without compromising on you know thinking about how that might make someone else feel or how what that might you know create down the road um, but I think it's like building a muscle and you don't choose one day like from now on I'm never gonna lie ever again because you're you you have a habit like you do it you've done it for 22 years every single day so it's not like you decide once and then you'd never have a lie again but you have to constantly remind yourself it's like going to the gym you know you don't decide one day like now I'm gonna you know lose weight and be and be athletic and and fit it's like you make that decision but then you have to go work out every single day in the gym to actually make it happen. And so I think too, like one, you need to make the decision that you want to be a person who doesn't say things that they know to be a lie. And then you need to constantly remind yourself and watch yourself while you're speaking to hear whether you're actually following that to keep doing it. And so I'm building out kind of like, I guess who I want to be in small reminders to myself. And it's a notebook that I keep to myself. And I started creating Instagram posts that I'm going to set up for my own account and basically schedule reminders to myself every single day. So every day when I'm on Instagram, I see who I want to be. So I keep account, keep myself accountable for these ideas and, and virtues and values that I chose to pursue. Um, so I wanna spend time on that. Next thing is, I wanna learn Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, one, because it's, it's you know, I need to get in shape again and I want to start working out again. I haven't really worked out for like six fucking months and I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to really feel it. Um, my body's getting stiffer. Um, I'm feeling my conditioning going down even when I'm walking the fucking stairs and stuff. So I want to work out and I think Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is very attractive to me. One, because it's, it's self-defense. So it can get useful in very dire situations, which I think is, is very important and might save my life or someone else's life. But it also seems to be a um, sport where um, one is very connected to reality and it's not one of these martial arts that just looks good but doesn't do anything. Um, I like the philosophy behind it. Um, so yeah, I want to get into Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and get good at it. Um, I want to meditate daily or as often as I can. Um, and right now, like the I guess an interesting metric to look at whether you're doing something because you want to do them or because you feel like you should do them is whether you need a schedule to No, that's I wanted to say whether you need a schedule to keep doing them. So I used to schedule meditation and I would do it every single day at 7 a.m. and it didn't do shit for me because I was just doing it because I thought like I needed to do it, you know. Um, now I'm really getting curious about it and I'm really noticing the differences and I'm really enjoying the I'm enjoying the challenge of meditation and I'm enjoying the process of meditation. Like I get good ideas while I meditate. I get breakthroughs and, and you know, concepts come to me e more easily when I meditate and I'm really like in that zone. And when I'm not in that zone, it's really fucking challenging to sit there and just be with yourself. The way I describe, I think about meditation, I guess is, just being able to be alone with your thoughts, which is a scary fucking thing. Um, and currently I do it almost daily. Um, and I just do it when I feel like it. And so far I'm really feeling like it. Um, I wanna try out more things. Like I said, I wanna move out of the niche 
it's not even a niche, but like out of this idea that I'm supposed to be an entrepreneur or CEO or whatever the fuck that means. And so explore different curiosity, which means, you know, stand up comedy, improv theater. Um, I want to try politics. I want to try Twitch live streaming. I want to try what else do I have here? Um, I don't know, just, you know, do different things. And um, I'm excited about that. I haven't started that process yet, but that is on the list for Berlin now that we have a place. And um, I have all these things around again. Like, that's a beautiful thing about Berlin. We have everything here. So that's cool. Um, I'm really making the relationship with Anastasia a major, major priority in my life. And um, I'm getting a lot of fulfillment out of being there for her and um, getting to know her and supporting her and um, understanding myself better in the process and becoming a better man through that process. So um, spending a lot of intentional time with Anastasia and working on our relationship is is something that I'm super excited about and I'm getting a lot of enjoyment and fulfillment out of. And it's one of these things that, you know, when I was still in Bali before I met her, I thought like, I'm not the person that should get into a relationship because, you know, I need to work. I need to work all day. I can't, I don't have time for a girlfriend. And you know, it would hold me back from all these ambitions and ideas and things that I wanted to do. And it's just so fucking full of shit. Um, it made me better at everything. She made me better at everything that I do. Um, and she gave a lot of meaning and purpose to my life. And um, yeah, so <laughs> I'm so glad that I got over that mindset, which was actually a big hurdle in the beginning of our relationship. And we actually broke up for a little bit because of that, because I felt like I should work. I should work 10 hours, 12 hours, 14 hours a day, which meant that I didn't spend time with her and you know, the time you spend on something is a reflection on how much you prioritize it. And if I'm prioritizing work so much and her so little, like there's no point in building a relationship. So that's another thing. Prioritize sleep. I want to sleep eight hours a day and then document. I really want to document kind of, you know, the decisions, the, the, the decisions that I make, how I'm building my life. I want, I want this. And with this, I mean the kind of accumulation of my YouTube vlogs, and the things, what I post on Instagram and what I post on LinkedIn and you know, what I share, you know, out into the world. I want that to be something where I can look back to in, in years and really understand and other people, not just me, other people and me to understand how I made decisions, why I made decisions, um, how I thought about the world at the time. And, you know, look back and at me and laugh at myself. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm really interested in this idea of my kids being able to look back at this and, and understand who I was um, at their age, you know, when they're getting to that age. And um, yeah, so these are kind of the couple of things that were running through my mind. This is the longest video um, and multiple times throughout this video, I had doubts popping up into my head that, you know, no one's gonna watch this video and this is the most bullshit video ever. And I'm just, um, I'm just talking for the sake of talking and that I should just stop this video and not post it. And that's another thing that meditation helped me to notice these thoughts. And it's probably true, like no one will watch this and this is a super boring video and I'm just rambling. But I wanna document these kind of thoughts that I have. Um, and I also would love to hear any of you guys questions or feedback on anything that I said, feel free to drop it down below and then see you in the next video. Peace out. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate a lot. But why not? Holy shit. I just want to make a trip to the child.